Yakima County's law enforcement officers held a ribbon cutting today to celebrate the opening of the long awaited Yakima Valley Local Crime Lab. This is located at the Sheriff's Office substation in Zilla. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell reports it's making history as the first locally run crime lab in the state of Washington. Yakima County is known by some for its apples, hops, and wines, but for others, High rates of violent crime difficult to address when local law enforcement can't get evidence processed fast enough to put suspects behind bars before they strike again. State patrol is just so overloaded with, with submissions uh, that the DNA can take months, even a year or more to get. But with the new Yakima Valley local crime lab, <laughs> it'll just be a matter of hours. Otherwise, investigations stall. They wait. They, they get stale. Witnesses disappear. The lab, run by two analysts and a lab manager, and outfitted to analyze firearms evidence collected from shooting scenes. Put them into this Nibin system, and what that does is it will be able to give associations to other shooting scenes to investigators in a timely manner. If that gun has been used in other places, we're going to know where. They'll also have the ability to analyze more cell phone evidence. But the biggest get, a rapid DNA machine to confirm or rule out suspects within hours. If it's a homicide and we have three people of interest, and then we have a DNA that we pulled from the crime scene, then we can compare that to them. We're not going to be able to use the state database right away. It's looking at least 18 months before uh, the state will be ready. A match at the local crime lab, enough to make an arrest, but not to convict. If it goes to court, that DNA still goes off to the state patrol crime lab. The sheriff says once they get into the swing of things, there will be a clear metric they can use to tell if the crime lab is successful. We're shorthanded, we're underfunded, and by working together, though, we can overcome some of those hurdles so that we all can enjoy the case clearances getting better. The sheriff says they're already able to use the Nibin and cell phone technology, but are still waiting on the rapid DNA machine. In Zilla, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Now the crime lab is funded for the next couple of years thanks to a more than $2 million American Rescue Plan Act grant from the county, but they are still looking for additional funding make sure that the crime lab can keep going when that money runs out.